questions will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Monday, September 18th. It's been a fantastic day for Zero DTE so far. Just got out of the AM Iron Condor at 80%, like a lot of you. Uh, this one on my screen is the Quiet Lunch, hit 40%. And I've got a profit target at 80% to close the rest. Also closed out some JSPs this morning at 50%. And closed out half my duck at 20%. Still in the remaining half. So we'll see if this market starts heading south. We may have a shot at a duck head. Would not be good for power hour. Speaking of power hour, low, 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 low premiums. Uh, it's a special kind of honey, Ken. I've got bees at my uh, at my place, and it flows really well. So it's just gonna you gotta you gotta get the, the special kind of honey. Yeah. Yep, looks like my head and shoulder breakout to the downside worked out just as planned. Already took profits on my short futures that I had in, in conjunction with that uh, head and shoulders short. What, you guys don't believe me? Look, I had 10 shorts. Just close two of them out. He guys thought I was a uh, probabilities trader. He didn't know I was such a technician. Okay, okay. A couple minutes till tranche one. Uh, probably don't need any. I don't need any longs. I'll use uh use some longs from earlier trades. Give it another minute and a half before I enter tranche one. SPX getting a little something going to the downside. Pushed up a little beyond the expected move for the day, and now we're coming back, coming back down. Let's see, we uh, we opened down at forty four forty five, about nine points above that currently. And just got stopped out of the rest of my quiet lunch for a profit. A little move lower. Ooh, we're getting a little something going to the downside, my friends.
a little something something going. 4450 straddle is the trade for power hour. Forty four fifty straddle trying to get filled at six thirty. Six twenty five. Filled at six thirty on tranche one, forty four fifty straddle. This PX caught a little wild hair there for a minute. Let's see if uh, see if we settle in. So that should have pushed my duck down into duck head territory. Let's see. Nope, not quite. Got a shot though. I get to about 70% though. Per my back test, I do need to reduce my stop on the ducks. So I'll keep, uh, keep an eye on that. Some quick little decay. Come, oh, whoops. Let me uncheck these. No, oh, never mind. All right. Oil pushing up above 91 and a half bucks a barrel. Not bringing any volatility into the stock market though, not at least not at least not for our zero DTE options. We need oil at like three hundred dollars a barrel. I think that would do it. You guys good? Good with that? Paying paying for gas if we can get some volatility in the market. Yeah, just buy an EV. Exactly. Buy an EV with all the profits that you make from high high volatility. It's a good good fair trade. You're helping the environment. You know, it's a win win for everyone.
Oh, they they would love it. Are you kidding me, Marthinus? They would love it. They'd be telling their kids, my dad used to take me to school on a bicycle. It'd be a good memory. I mean, you're creating memories. Such a win-win. They'll never remember going to school in a car. Everybody, every kid does that. All right, we got, we got another leg down here. The old head and shoulders neckline break. I'm telling you, told you guys, I warned you. Yeah, we can uh, we can just all charter Dick K's private jet. Be good. I was looking back through my so April. So in April of this year, that's when I first started kind of really trading power hour pretty close to the way I do it now. And in April, I booked, uh, I think it was like 36,000. I was, I was looking through my trader sync trade logs. And, um, you know, I was kind of going month by month, trying to see how, you know, profits and things like that. And uh, if you guys remember, for those of you who were hanging around at that point, my trade size in April was six contracts on tranche one three contracts on tranche two and one contract on tranche three. <laughs> now I'm doing 10, 16, 14. And in that month when I was doing six, three, one, I, I did over 36,000 in profits just on power hour, just with that trade size. That my friends is implied volatility at its best. If I was trading the size that I do now, in April, uh, I may have had a 200K month. But the good news is we will be prepared as soon as oil hits $300 a barrel. And volatility is elevated for a period of time. We, we're all going to be ready. Wuga always coming in with the silver lining. <laughs> yep, that is correct, sir. Tomorrow, nothing on the news front scheduled. And then Wednesday, of course, is FOMC. For tomorrow, as far as the live stream goes, we will be live streaming at the open as well as for Power Hour. 
And then for Wednesday, we will not stream in the morning. We will not stream for power hour, but we will stream during the FOMC. So about 10 minutes or so before the data is released. And then we'll stream a little bit into Jerome's presentation. Which I'm pretty sure is going to be exactly like last time's presentation, but there's going to be a couple words changed around. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty interesting, Wuga, that the five wide was so much lower than the others. And I assume that was use buying five cent wings, right? Right, data list, but if you look, but the straddle is higher. Higher win rate, higher return on margin. Yeah, I would say it's just a, I would say that that probably grows bigger than the straddle over more trade occurrences. Ten cents, gotcha. And it's interesting that the 20 wide was, uh, was lower than the, or greater than 20 wide was not as good as like the 20 wide or the 10 wide. All right. SPX getting a little bounce, a little bounce in its step. But data list, the, the straddle is defined risk too. I mean, this is buying the wings. It's just buying the wings on the straddle, buying the wings, you know, the buying the wings is is with all of those as well. Straddle is just referring to using the same strike.
All right, almost time for TR2. Got my longs for tranche two. If it holds here, it looks like it'll be the 4455 straddle. Yeah, we'll go. I don't know if you have that back test handy. That might help. Yeah, so this is tranche one. $4 credit on each side, $4 trailing stop, 40%. Set stop loss to three, exit trades five minutes till. So then you went through and you did the same thing. Or you, you, you sorted this out in your spreadsheet for when it was a straddle, when it was five wide, when it was 10 wide, when it was 20 wide, when it was plus 20. Another minute here looks like could be it's a tweener. Give it a minute. Looks like the 55s, uh, it's right between. Got to make a decision. What's it going to be? What you going to do? I'm going to do the 55s. Slightly closer at last glance. Tranche to... Straddle. Trying to get filled at five twenty five. Filled at five twenty five on the fifty five straddle. All right, right here between 50 and 55 is the sweet spot for the first two tranches.
55 straddle. That's what I did for Trent too. Check out some other positions here. Got a couple of time flies that haven't had quite enough decay yet. This one on the SEP 29 expiration, we're getting close to 5%. It's kind of jumping around right closer to 4%, depending on where you get filled. So I'll hold that one. The October 5. No decay on that one yet. I did do a new TGIF today. up it a little bit hopefully we get a nice vol crush and it stays within range after fomc those tend to pay pretty well unless there's some crazy crazy news out of the blue or crazy change out of the fed We've also got a six, seven on that's doing well. I'm, uh, I'll take some off if I get to 20%, which would be 505. It looks like it's currently trading at about 485 or 490. So it's not quite there yet. The one, two I put on this morning is already up a few hundred bucks. I might take some of that off. I did a little bit bigger size on that one with the intent of potentially taking uh, some of it off today. So see where that one is after in about 20 minutes or so. That would do it, discount. That would do it. That would pump a little vol into our options, I think. But we need we need something that's going to provide sustained premium in our in our options, like like oil over three hundred bucks a barrel. I'm looking for something long term, so we can really just milk this thing. <laughs> All right, five minutes until tranche three.
Hope this wasn't a little bounce before another big leg down. Buying my longs for tranche three. Right between strikes here. looks like it'll be a 55-50 strangle, or if it moves towards a strike, we'll get another straddle. Give it another couple minutes here. Ah, very nice discount. The Trade Hacker Mug. Looks like it could be another 50 straddle for tranche three. Or if the price bounces, it could be a 55 50 strangle. Does anybody hear background noise at all? I've mentioned this before, but I've got some renovations going on on my building here, and it sounds like they're drilling on concrete. All right, good. It's loud to me, but as long as you guys can't hear it, that's good. All right, 50 straddle, tranche three, here we come. Forty-four fifty straddle filled at four fifty and four fifty-five. All right, forty-four fifty is the sweet spot, but anyway. Between 50 and 55 would be just fine. Forty nine and fifty four.
bouncing off that 44.50 a little bit again. Are we already there for Tront 1? Tranche 1, I got filled at 630. So 380. So tranche one, I'm looking for 380. It's currently trading at 440. Did it get down to 380? Tranche two. Got in at five twenty five. So we're looking at three fifteen. Tranche two. Over around that 44.52 level. It comes back down closer to 44.50. Should get down to 380. Well, we that little drop happened right before power hour today, my friends. So far, anyway. Tranche two, I'm looking for 315. It's currently trading at 450, 440. Tranche two is at the 55 strike. Tranche one down, back down to 420, 415. If it gets down to 380, I'll change my stop on tranche one to 680.
discount. SJ is admiring your keyboard. That does look nice and sleek. It's not your typical Apple. Discount must have muted me. He got tired of me talking. Must have checked out for a minute. He's been having the runs. He had to run to the bathroom. He'll be back. Yeah, posting ghost. All right, tranche one down to 405. Saw four dollars. Another twenty cents to come out. Three ninety. Three eighty five. Three ninety five. It's coming right down to the strike, but price drop and it's keeping the premium a little bit. Not giving us our 380 yet. Just a little half point bounce to suck a little premium out. 385. Three eighty, there it is. All right, reduce and stop on tranche one. All right, now we can bounce back up. A little closer to forty four fifty five, so I can reduce stop on tranche two. There he is. He's back. No, we thought you were doing something else, but that's okay. We we're just making fun of you behind your back. No big deal. Well, Wuga thought maybe you had the runs. You had to run to the bathroom. Got Meech in the house today. What's going on, Meech?
Mitch must have me on mute, like usual. Twenty three minutes until the bell. This market's feeling heavy, my friends. It just feels heavy. <laughs> Is that specific for traders? <laughs> yeah, it's it's cool until you have to clean it. I'd probably just throw it away and buy a new one every time. Yeah, Allison's like, all right, guys, enough of the enough of the portable pooper talk. The TG, let's get back to TGIF. Yeah, the TGIF is up a little bit. <laughs> Great for the market. Of End of day imbalance, huh? Still got my short futures working. Started with 10, scaled out of some, added some more on that little bounce. You guys know how I get with those head and shoulder breakouts. They get me fired up. Yeah, we could use a little bounce here. That'll make you want to click off the page. Let's get this on here for everyone to see. Can't get away from it. You clicked off Discord, but now it's on my screen. Just, just a little, you know, just a little two or three point bounce, nothing big. Let's see, my uh, six seven DTE is getting close to twenty percent. Five oh five would be twenty percent. It's currently trading about four ninety. There 
There we go. It's working. Working, working. Not too much, though. Not too much. Calm down. All right, where's tranche two at? Tranche two, I need 315. It's currently trading at 440. It's got to get closer to 4455 for that one to get reduced. Uh, Fish, my six sevens are at 25 Delta is where I take those at. Forty-four fifty-two is the uh, Tupac. That's what we're looking for. That's perfect. Tupac Shakur magnet. Take that. I'm going to close some of my one twos as well, my B and B. All right, so I closed five of nine on my B and B. Just posted that in the calendar channel. Meanwhile, we've got uh, 13 and a half minutes until the bell for power hour. Our little bounce didn't last too long.
hanging around that 4450. this point doesn't look like we'll reduce our stop on tranche two let's those bounce up closer to 44.55 here in the next few minutes All right, a little over 10 minutes till the bell, a little over five minutes until I bail. Just needs to hold right here for just a couple more minutes. Just hold on, little buddy. No need to go anywhere. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it all started when I was a kid, Dick, my, my little make-believe friend. All right, so tranche numero uno. Move that to uh, 240. Tranche number three. also the 50 straddle move that to 215 tranche number two which is the 55 straddle See if I can get four fifty. All 
All right. Hitting 240, so I'm out of tranche one at 240. I'm out of tranche three at 450. Those hit a little earlier than I anticipated. I've got, so I've got tranche two left. I'm trying to get out at 215. It's the 50 straddle. It's right there. It's right there for the taking. It's touching it. It's flirting. Didn't fill. Got about 40 seconds until my, there it is just before my uh, 30 seconds before my exit time. Beautiful. You know, this is one of those days, my friends, where you go in thinking, Ugh, these premiums are so low. Just don't know. We've already had a quiet day. Is it going to move during power? You know, all those things that we think about, right? But ended up being... A okay, so tranche one got in at six thirty, out at two forty, times ten contracts. Tranche number two got in at five twenty five, out at four fifty, times sixteen contracts. Tranche number three got in at four fifty, out at 215 times 14 contracts. So awesome. Nice, Marthinus. Yes. Yes. All right. Good stuff, guys. Uh, tomorrow morning, we will be streaming at the market open. Nice, Wuga. Best day ever. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Love it. Um, Radic, 12 trades today, all winners. Very nice. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow morning at the open, I'll be streaming for zero DTE and then we'll be back again for power hour. All right, all take care. Have a good one.